When it comes to condition monitoring, it's natural that electric motors are the number one concern, especially because they're the assets that make everything else in the company run smoothly. But when we talk about advanced maintenance strategies, such as Traction's online monitoring, we need a broader perspective. Gearboxes, bearings, compressors, and pumps, they are often just as critical to the whole operation as the motors, albeit they're often overlooked. With that in mind, today I'm here to tell you about the assets you can and should be monitoring. Well, it's useless to have an electric motor running perfectly. With an up-to-date maintenance plan, if for example a pump is cavitating and showing signs of blade malfunction. Also consider gearboxes for instance. They ensure that the correct shaft speed is delivered to your production line. What if they're having gear problems? Surely these failures, if not detected in time, will bring your entire manufacturing operation to a halt. When it comes to condition monitoring, which is one of the most important predictive maintenance strategies, traction will help you detect failures in early stages. And these are the failures that will show us that something is wrong with that certain equipment. And in all likelihood, things will worsen if we don't intervene. It's important to highlight that these malfunctions are hard to identify by manually collecting vibration data over sparse periods of time. And surely they don't randomly happen. Let's put together a table so you can understand which failures we automatically detect through condition monitoring and in which assets we can apply these types of failures. Bearing systems and bearing houses, gearboxes, motor pumps, compressors, electric motors. These are the machines in which we can detect unbalance. In low speed rotating machines, it can be hard to detect unbalance issues. When a weight from the balancing of the pulley is glued to the component in one minute, and the next it's not, it causes unbalance that puts more strain on one side of the equipment. This axis load causes wear and can even compromise components such as bearings, shafts, etc. I'd like to invite you to see how our solution helped Corteva save costs by detecting an unbalance. The link to the article will be in the description below. Bearing houses, reducers, compressors, and electric motors. These are the assets that may suffer misalignment. If not detected early, the consequence of this type of failure are warping of the shafts, internal damage to the motor, and damaged bearings due to excessive load on only one side. Motor pumps, fans, electric motors. In this equipment, we commonly detect mechanical looseness failures. This occurs when there is incorrect contact between components and when there isn't proper distribution of efforts, consequently generating an overload in one of the components causing premature wear. Cavitation problems can be detected in motor pumps and other types centrifugal, peripheral, etc. Explained in a very broad way, cavitation occurs when air bubbles passing through the blades implode inside the pump. These imploded bubbles end up not only affecting the efficiency of the fluid transport, but also generate physical damage inside the pump, such as deformation of the blades and pump walls. Vibration and temperature are also very important indicators that can be monitored with traction's innovative sensors. So if there's a sudden increase or any other abnormality with the two indicators mentioned, this might show that some of the previous failures we've talked about may be occurring. For example, a bearing can start to heat up when lubrication is lacking or when there's misalignment. There's usually also excessive vibration in the bearings. We can also catch failures related to asset components such as gear, blade, and propeller failures. For example, when there are indications of gear problems in the gearbox, by monitoring the GMF, the traction system will generate an alert about this issue. Similarly with the fan, by monitoring the GMP, the software will identify any possibility of failure in these components. If by any chance you have critical equipment in your operation that wasn't listed here, don't worry, our system can monitor any rotating asset or any other machine with the defined vibration profile. Altogether, there are more than 100 types of assets, machines and equipment that we can monitor. Do you want to know more about how we can monitor critical assets of your operation and automatically identify these failures? Contact our team and we'll give you all the details. From which points you should monitor to the complete support for installing the sensors and checking the insights. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for our next videos. See you soon!